Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. Is the civil PE exam difficult to pass? This is a question I get often from our subscribers. The PE exam is one of the last steps in becoming a licensed professional engineer, but how hard is it? In this video, I'll answer that question and we'll also take a look at the PE exam pass rates. This episode is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. Civil engineering is the practice of designing built structures. To become a civil engineer, a candidate has to complete a rigorous academic program. Civil engineers also have to pass two exams. The Fundamental of Engineering examination, usually referred to as the FE exam, and the Principles and Practices in Engineering, also known as the PE exam. After completing a college degree from an accredited institution, Passing the FE exam and getting at least four years of working experience in the field of engineering in most states, candidates can then sit for the PE exam. The PE exam is an eight hour exam. It was previously open book, but as of 2022, the civil PE exam is computer based. Civil engineers can take one of five different versions of the exam depending on whether they work in construction, geotechnical, structural, transportation, or water and environmental. Pass rates. Let's first look at pass rates to understand how difficult the PE exam is. Most PE exams, regardless of discipline, have pass rates between 60 and 70% for first time takers, and then it plummets to about 30 to 40% for repeat takers. Here are the latest pass rates for the different civil PE exams. Construction, first time takers 61%, repeat takers 35%. Geotechnical, first time takers 55%, repeat 24%. Structural, and please note this is the PE civil structural exam, not the structural or SE exam. First time 64%, repeat takers 41%. Transportation, first time 70%, repeat takers 39% and water resources and environmental, first time 71%, repeat takers 46%. Which discipline to take? Now, based on those passing rates, I know what you're thinking. I'll just take the transportation or water resources and environmental exam. And a lot of civil engineers do just that. In fact, I did. However, one caveat here is to just make sure that your state doesn't require you to test in the discipline for which you plan to practice as an engineer. Most states do not, but some states do. So is the civil PE exam really hard? I would say it's challenging, but a challenge that I believe any engineer can overcome if you prepare properly. I took a review course and I created a very regimented study schedule where I literally put my study times on my calendar every day. And I studied consistently for roughly nine months. I also did a ton of practice problems and I attempted to recreate the exam atmosphere, which is important. One last thing I will say is that the computer-based testing model is relatively new. So it will be beneficial for you to speak to someone who took the CBT exam while you're preparing. Some people have told me that it's easier in a sense that you don't have to worry about which books you wanna to bring to the exam. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will be published weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please, I encourage you to ask questions and leave comments below this video. 
and I will respond to you. Maybe there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover or a problem that you need solved. Pass the PE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week. <laughs>